Welcome to Sunny's, the car wash factory. This week, we're taking an in-depth look at a brand new express wash in the mountains of Asheville, North Carolina, Gorilla Car Wash. We're going to talk to owner-operator Brian Blakey about converting an old full-service wash to an express wash three years ago. Brian built upon the success of his first wash and just opened another brand new location. Let's take a look. Well, we uh, are from Dallas, Texas area. I worked for Texas Instruments for many years in various roles in uh, IT division, information technology, and then I moved into finance. And so I tell everybody I went from high tech to high touch. I was ready for a change. There had been a lifelong dream of mine to be able to have my own business. And uh, when we came across the opportunity to own the car wash up on Patton Avenue, it just seemed like everything was falling into place. I really began learning about car washes once we acquired the, the existing car wash. And I guess it's interesting to note that that car wash is one of the oldest car washes in all of Western North Carolina. It was built in 1954. And uh, we were running it as a full service car wash and we ran it as a full service wash for about nine months. And uh, I started doing some research and looking into alternatives on how to change it and to either make it more automated or, or to somehow uh, allow me to have a little more time to spend with my family. We converted a wash that had been full service for approximately 54 years and we switched it over to an express exterior wash. Well, it was in uh, rough shape to say the least. Um, it had been neglected and not really kept up, uh, needed painting and the equipment inside was not up to par. The schooling that it did for me and my wife and how we were able to learn so much uh, about car washing and, and how to uh, take care of people's vehicles. That alone was worth a lot. But the fact that it was very profitable and uh, allowed us to make another investment in our second wash that we're sitting in front of right now. If it had not have performed as well as it has, we wouldn't be where we are today. Brian's Patton Avenue conversion project was a success and still is. The wash is in its third year and still going strong. Building upon his experience and success, Brian built his second express wash from the ground up. Brian's new Gorilla Express Wash on Airport Road in South Asheville sits on a lot just under one acre. It features two auto pay stations and a 160-foot tunnel. Well, the site is, is located uh, on Airport Road south of Asheville, approximately uh, 12 to 14 miles south of town. And we're overlooking the airport. We're high up on a hill. There's a shopping center down below us. Uh, we've positioned the signage on the road so that anybody in the shopping center can look up and see our sign. Of course, we get people coming and going on Airport Road either direction, and they can also see the signage. We are in between a brand new Walmart that's just a short distance up the road and the shopping center where we have uh, Target and Lowe's and Best Buy. And I felt like we were going to get a lot of cross traffic, people traveling between those two shopping centers and they would be crossing over my location. The other wash is close into town. It's people pass by it coming to and from their home to go to work downtown. Here it seems like we're having uh, a lot of people that go home after work and change and then they're going shopping and on the way to go shopping they stop in to see our wash or they're coming home from work later in the day. Three miles away from me, I have a full service. Approximately three miles also is a, is a twin in-bay automatic. And then we have one self-serve in this same three mile radius and several uh, convenience store car washes. So that's the competition that I'm nearby here. I'm excited about the response that we've gotten here so far. As far as uh, the Express model, we were the first ones to bring this model to this area. Uh, and so now with our second location, we have a, another Express in the same area. The layout uh, is, is built from the ground up to be an Express car wash. And uh, consequently, there's plenty of room for vacuums. We've got 20 vacuum spaces. Uh, we've got plenty of room in the tunnel to uh, be able to monitor the equipment while the cars are being washed. We have such a narrow tunnel on the other, at the other wash that it makes it difficult to actually see the equipment interacting with the vehicles. We extended the building. It's 130 feet long. We have a 120 foot long conveyor. 
and uh, the layout of the site allowed for the pay stations to be in such a position so that people have a real nice curve and a downward roll right into the entrance of the car wash. We prep every car at our other wash and uh, that was partly due to the fact that when we opened it was in February and we had a lot of snow and ice and salt around here during that time of the year and when we opened that wash cars were coming in just caked on with salt and, and they put a, a bonding agent in the salt here so that it sticks to the roads and that was flipping up and sticking to vehicles car people's cars and uh, it was very hard to get off and we realized that we needed to prep well winter turned to spring and spring sun turned to summer and it was hard to stop prepping and uh, customers would tell us and complain about it if we didn't prep their car so we feel like we were locked into prepping there. I came up with an idea and my SSOs helped me out and we added two pieces of Sonny's equipment to the beginning of a normal car wash e equipment package. We put an, another a second pre-soak arch at the very beginning and then after a 10-foot dwell period we have another uh, a high pressure piece of equipment which is an Omni 50 and so I call it my automatic prepping system and, and it's made a world of difference for the loaders and my employees to be able to really focus on the car now they can look for damage the pre-existing damage they can look for special areas that need attention we do have a prep gun that we can uh, use it on specific areas and we can focus this time of year on bugs we've got a lot of people that travel down to the lowlands and come back up to the mountains here and they're covered in bugs and so we, we can really focus on getting the cars clean now. So that's at the very beginning. Uh, going through the wash, uh, we, we have our CTAs, we go through a, a spider wrap combination with our uh, emitter curtain there. We have an Omni 350 in the middle there that gets the top of the cars very well. And then attached there, we have a brand new piece of equipment that I'm excited about. It's the Octopus Mirror Blasters. And I love how it cleans our mirrors out. It's doing a great job. The pendulum takes care of the wheels, which is a new piece of equipment for us. I'm very excited about the pendulum. Continuing through the side-to-side -side meters, you go through the rain arches with our total body protectant and our drying agent, and then you go into our tire shine. And uh, I love the new tire shine with the hinge top on it. It makes it so easy to take pads in and out and to maintain it. And then we go into our blowers. We have two additional blowers here. We have eight. 15 horsepower blowers where we only had six in the other wash. So uh, that's basically it. And then they go on into the free vacuums. Dealing with the city of Asheville here, they, I think they have a reputation of being very tough and, and I can vouch for that. They are very diligent and uh, they make it uh, hard on you sometimes, much harder than you'd like uh, to get things done. We had to apply for variances for different things and that delayed things three, four, five, six months. And uh, it was a challenge working through every obstacle that was thrown in our way there. But eventually, one by one, we eventually overcame all of those obstacles. The, the select service organization that Sunny's offers where they have strategically placed people throughout the country to work with people such as myself that want to set up a car wash, it, it's, a, it's a great uh, concept. and. Uh, uh, our SSOs are TEC, Tennessee Equipment Company in Knoxville, Tennessee, which uh, is not too far from us to cross the border from North Carolina into Tennessee. And these guys are just great. Uh, we've worked with them with our first wash and now with the second wash. And uh, they provide so much more than just selling equipment. They, they give you advice and consultation that's just invaluable and uh, we, we are very much indebted to them and dear to them and they're great and decent people and we, we've enjoyed working with them.